Hello guys and welcome to the first chapter of my video series on creating 3D printing brand on Instagram from scratch. In this video series I gonna create Instagram account filled with content, design some vases, select a printer, print vases and finally trying to sell them. Let's get started. And first thing first, we need a username. And we need a unique one and a cool one. And this username should represent what we are doing. 3D printing and 3D printing is a layer by layer process. Layer by layer. Sounds good, right? Nope. Because it's probably taken. Let's quickly check it. Let's go to the Instagram and let's add layer by layer like username. And you can see that is it's taken by some Krista and maybe we can do with underscore between the words and this one is not available too nowadays it's not the easiest task to invent new cool unique username because of amount of users but should we worry about it absolutely not because we have chat GPT and let's go and ask for help Hey bro, give me some synonyms to word layer. Let's see the response. Level is too popular. Tear sounds bad. Stratum sounds nasty. Shelf nope. Veil well, probably taken. Coat and blanket. We do 3D printing actually. Film. I wish I do films but not. Or oh, lamella. Okay, what is lamella? Great, it already looks like something 3D printed and consists of layers, so let's take this one and check if it's free or not. And unfortunately again Lamella is already taken. Let's go back to the chat GPT. Bro, we need more creative and complex nicknames related to Lamella. He gave us few options, Lamellarion, Lamellatude, Lamellascape and Lamellarigs. So after reading the descriptions, I decided to go with Lamellatude because it's blend of Lamella and Latitude. And Latitude, for those of you who don't know what it is, it also looks like something 3D printed. Congratulations, now we have cool and unique username Lamellatude and it's probably free or already taken by me. Once we have a username, it's time to create a logotype. ChatGPT! Can you describe a possible logo for brands that called Lamellitude? A possible logo for a brand called Lamellitude could feature a stylized letter L. ChatGPT did a great job describing our logotype, so let's take it and put in DALI -E to bring it to life. So. That was Dali came up with. Pretty cool, a little bit misaligned it. But anyway, I can feel the potential here and let me quickly adjust it in Blender to make it perfect. Okay, and that's how our final version looks like. Let's set it up as a main picture for our profile. And we're ready to go to the third part, bio. We need to create an engaging bio. It should be brief, but powerful. Let's check if ChatGPT can handle it. Create me a cool bio for Instagram 3D printing brand called Lamellitude. He came up with a lot of text. And overall it's a good bio, but no way we can fit it in the Instagram bar. Let's continue with ChatGPT and give him some more information and let's see if I can grab something from it. Can you involve something like designed by humans and made by robots? Once again he gave us a lot of text. But I like this one. Designs are crafted by the human touch but brought to life by our state of the art robots. We can use it, but let's raise the state of the art. It's dumb. And we're ready to go. Final slogan will be Design crafted by human touch, brought to life by robots. Simple and effective as it is. Congratulations, now we have a strong foundation for our Instagram brand with a little bit of help 
of AI like ChatGPT and Dal E. And for my 3D printing nerds, stay tuned. In the next chapter of our series, I take a closer look at the process of creating content for 3D printing brand. We're gonna cover everything from design 3D models, choosing the right printer, advertisement, and etc. etc. And now you can follow this channel by clicking here or watch my previous video here. Thank you for the watching. See you the next time.